It may look like any other passenger ferry, but the electrically powered Movitz, which operates in central Stockholm, could be the boat of the future, replacing traditional diesel-run vessels. The ferry started operating last month, covering a route from the city center out to Stockholm's western suburbs and back. The ferry uses so-called supercharging technology, a rapid charging system which requires just 10 minutes to give the ship's nickel-metal hydrate batteries enough juice to run for one hour at nine knots. The developers of this technology say it will result in a huge reduction in CO2 and particle emissions and cut operating costs by 30%. The ferry can be supercharged, which means it can be run for up to one hour on just 10 minutes charging time. So you can use your ship much more often than when you have to charge it all night. There's currently only one charging station available in central Stockholm, which means the ferry has to use its diesel-electric generators for part of the trip. But Green City Ferries say that more charging stations are being built. The advantage is definitely that it's more environmentally friendly. A diesel-run ship of this size will emit a lot of carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide and other particles that are harmful to humans. Here we have control over the whole electricity supply. As part owners of a wind power station, we have control from propeller to propeller. According to the boat's captain, it operates very much like a normal diesel-run vessel. The advantage being that it's quieter and there are a lot less vibrations. Staying in the field of alternative energy sources is the MagCook. This cooking pot heats up from the inside as it spins. You pull this to heat the inside. Now this is geared up so it goes at a certain speed. And then when it's spinning, it heats the internal metal cylinder here, so it heats from the outside as opposed from the bottom. It uses it inbuilt magnets that are spun using a pull cord creating an electromagnetic frequency which in turn generates heat. Um, you know, once it's set up, it's completely off the grid. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about any other kind of, you know, input. You don't have to worry about paying for electricity. You know, once you have it, then it produces the energy. Alongside the cooking pot, co-designer Ashley DeGamo and his team are introducing another prototype, an induction ring. He says the simplicity of the technology and its portability means these could be valuable tools in places where people have been cut off from power supplies. That is something where you, you want it to be portable, but once it's over there, you don't want any of this, you know, this input. You don't want, you know, it to be reliant on electricity or you know, you want it to, you know, be sturdy and, you know, be able to operate. And, um, and I, I see there's, you know, good potential, you know, of a market within, you know, disaster relief. The next challenge, say the prototypes developers, is to find a mechanism to keep the magnet spinning and the energy flowing for as long as it's needed. To speed up the magnets themselves, than when you pull it. Developers are convinced that the technology could lend itself to many applications, including heating in homes and water purification, offering an attractive off-the-grid alternative to consumers. <laughs>